So I have a theory that Z So I have a theory that Zoro is going to leave the crew. Now, I know what you're all thinking right now. Why would Zoro ever leave the crew? Well, back when Doflamingo made his speech, you know, the Throne War speech, she had a line. Who will betray whom? That was one of the lines he stated, and honestly, a lot of people would say maybe Law. If any of them were going to betray them, it would be Law. But that is too predictable, considering Robin said it could happen. Robin herself said, Pirate Alliances, 90% 90, 90 of the time, end in betrayal. So, I don't think that's likely. I honestly don't think it will be a lot of betray them. I think it will be Zoro. Now, if you've noticed, since they have entered the new world, Zoro has become increasingly angry with Luffy. He's been getting more and more pissed off at Luffy constantly for not taking things seriously. And you can sort of see that he pre-time get whatever Luffy did, Zoro was like, okay. He rarely disagreed with Luffy. In fact, the only real time the world disagreed with Luffy pre time kit was with Usopp. But now, Usopp, Zoro had been sitting Luffy down pretty con pretty much constantly since entering the new world and being like, listen, this is serious. This is a problem. He did it in Punk Hazard. He did it in Punk Hazard and he did it on Zoe. He's done it twice now. And he's also done it at other times. He's been like, Luffy, this is serious. And I believe Zoro is beginning to lose respect for Luffy. When Sanji was kidnapped on Zoro, Zoro was being logical. Not that I'm saying we shouldn't go save Sanji. I love Sanji. But Zoro was being logical. He said, Sanji left of his own accord. Who gave the damn? Like, we're already dealing with Kaido. And we, we don't want to piss off Big Mom. We already pissed her off enough. On Fish Man Island, when you declared war on her, but since she hasn't made a move yet, we're we're good at the moment. So we should just worry about Kaido right now, right? But that doesn't seem to be what Luffy wants to do. He's going after people like he, Kai, like Big Mom. He's going to say Sanji. And Zoro had been disagreeing with Luffy multiple times, and he thinks Luffy is making some of the wrong decisions. And when Zoro would introduce introduced that. He said, and he pretty much said, and I'm going to be paraphrasing here, that if you ever get in the way of my dream, I'm going to cut you down. Now, Zoro, it's not even about respect. Luffy and Zoro are friends. But at this, so I don't see Zoro actually trying to kill Luffy, but I do see him, like, stabbing, like, uh, fighting Luffy, and then leaving and being like, I'm done. Because Luffy at this point, in my opinion, is probably slowing Zoro down. If Zoro had to stay in the matter at this point, they would not be involved with Big Mom. They would not be involved in situations that could get them killed. And you can really just see this like small building tension between the two characters. And even now, is Zoro find out what is happening on Zo? I may do another video on this. And not on Zo, but on uh, Whole Cake Island. If he finds out that Sanji is bad-mouthing Luffy, bad-mouthing the crew of his own free will, when Luffy is trying to save him and then kicked his own captain, it isn't like with Robin where she had really good intentions and she like wants to save them. No, Sanji wants Sanji half, part of it is protecting Luffy and the crew, the other part of it is that he wants to help out Zeph. He went to help Zeph, and he doesn't want his hand to get damaged. So most of the reason he's doing what he's doing is selfish. And if Zoro found out about this, and Luffy let Sanji back on the crew, he would leave. Sanji, at this point, should not be allowed to rejoin the crew. He should be asked to leave. Luffy's not going to do that. And I feel like Luffy is in this arc kind of letting Sanji walk over him. And I think Zoro will find out about this, and that may be the final straw where he's like, well, screw you. Like, no, like, you are not strong mentally. You're an idiot. 
but I thought you had a strong enough will to control your crew, but you clearly don't even demand respect from your crew. Yes, the video goofball and everything, but the crew had always respected him just because they do, but he needs to demand it. That was Zoro's whole point in Water 7. Luffy needs to demand respect. If you don't respect him, he needs to be like, you're going to respect me or you're going to leave. The crew that doesn't respect their captain, as Zoro said, is destined to fail. So I do believe Zoro is going to realize that Luffy is too, is too goofing around too much, not taking anything seriously. And I do think, in Wano, this will probably be Zoro major arc, Zoro will betray Luffy. I think he will. I think somebody's going to like... I think somebody's gonna say something to Zoro and maybe offer him training in Wano and maybe like, you just need to help us and we'll train you. And he'll be like, if I help these people, I'll be one step closer to my goal. And Luffy's been doing nothing but crap that pisses me off. Think we got into the new world, then you know what, fine. And they're like, all you need to do is take out Straw Hat Luffy and I think Zoro will do it. I think he's going to get an offer that will help him achieve his goal. And all he'll need to do is defeat Straw Hat Luffy and they'll give it to him. And I think he's going to do it. I do think Zoro will betray the crew. So what do you guys think about that? Do you guys think it's possible that Zoro will betray the crew? I know a lot of people are going to say he's incredibly, he's incredibly loyal to Luffy. And he is. He's incredibly loyal. But everybody, he has a reason to be loyal. Pre-time skip, Luffy never really took on anything he couldn't handle. See how long the video is? <laughs> no, but pre-time skip, Luffy could, never took on anything he couldn't handle. Here he kind of is. He's taking on things he can't handle. He can't beat Big Mom. He can barely beat Cracker. And Zoro said that. Zoro knows Luffy can't beat Yoko. Pre-time skip, there was never a scene. Either with Crocodile. Zoro never said to Luffy, I don't think you can beat Crocodile. Or this is too much. Zoro was excited for the stuff of Crocodile. When Zoro is saying, you're not ready, you can't handle it, no, that just, that it pretty much takes close the point. Zoro, Zoro is trying to make a statement, and Luffy not listening, and yeah, so I think Zoro is going to either leave the crew or betray the straw hat. But tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you guys think Zoro is going to get sick of Luffy's ridiculous BS and leave the crew? I'm very interested to hear, so tell me in the comments, will Zoro betray the crew or leave? And how would you guys feel if that happened? I would be upset, but if handled correctly, which I'm pretty sure it would be, because Oda handles almost everything correctly. Besides the Usopp thing with Jigger, that was bad. No, but I do believe that if Oda handled it correctly, it would be good. Very emotional, very much like what happened with Usopp and what's happening with Sanji, right now in the manga, which I will have a video out on before the chapter comes out. I'm not sure when, but I maybe this weekend, but I will have a video out on how all that works pretty soon. But yeah, I think we're going to leave the crew. Tell me your thoughts in the comment. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, subscribe for more videos. It's the One Piece Station signing out, and tell me what you think of my webcam. I just got it. Is the quality better? I really hope the quality is better. And is the camera angle good? Give me feedback on that in the comments, please. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day.